If 92 miles an hour hits that ice, let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, we're back here for another episode of Science of Sports, and I am joined by Dr. Kenda. And today we're looking at the evolution of a hockey stick and how kind of it has progressed throughout the years. Absolutely. So today, these younger athletes are stronger, faster, and they're hitting harder. And we thought, what better person to do this than our leading goal scorer, Reed Boucher. 92. Eight, nine, 92. 92. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so that was a Blew flex. That, one away. that was a flex 75. What how did he get to 92 with that? What does that mean? So when you say it's a flex 75, that means how much weight it takes for one uh, how much weight it takes to displace that hockey stick 1 inch at its central area. So it gives him more flexibility so that he can essentially whip that stick harder to hit that hockey puck. It's pretty impressive. All right, so we saw Reed, what he did with his normal 75 flex stick. This is just pure wood. Kind of break this down for me. Sure, so his earlier stick that he used is his personal stick. Yep. It's graphite, just like whether it's a hockey stick or a tennis racket, those old ones were wooden. That's okay. what we have here. The new ones are lighter. They allow them to hit it with more speed. These graphite sticks are gonna be much more powerful, but let's see how he does with these wood sticks. And this is just a little bit older, and we'll see what he can do. <laughs> no way. Was that a good hit? I mean, there's the blade is so fragile on it. Oh, really? Yeah, just. All right, doctor, what's the science behind why he could shoot 92 with his stick and in the 50s with this wooden one? Material and weight, that's all it comes up to. It's his speed and the way in which he can whip that stick. Also, this has less give, so it doesn't give him enough power to whip that uh, puck a little bit harder. All right, so break down this next stick. This next stick is a two-piece stick. Okay. It's uh, a combination of wood and composite. Uh, so this is a progression through the process. So last time he used a wood stick, we're gonna see him use the hybrid. So how did that feel the blade just gave out? Blade gave out? So you can tell the difference yeah. of each stick. Yeah. How about in terms of heaviness? Is this a little heavier than your stick? Yeah. My yeah. Stick. Okay. So Boucher uses the uh, the 75 stick. Um, and even some people on the team like Camper use the 65 really allows them to whip that uh, stick around. And again, it's the flexibility that it can displace it uh, one inch. Okay. So this is an 85. Let's throw an 85 in his hand and see how he does with this stick. And it's also the material, right, too? This is a composite. Okay. This is definitely a composite. It's graphite. So the only thing you should have different on this is, uh, is the give on the, on the stick. So how did that feel in your hands? Pretty similar to mine, a little stiffer. A little stiffer? So you like that last little whip that the, your stick gives you? Yeah. Okay, all right. So what he used right here was the 85, and it was... Um, it was a little about, slower, so... Slow, significantly slower. He was up to 92 on right. your 65. So we'll try one more up, uh, and we'll try the 100 at this point in time, and see how you do with that. There it is. Now, now, now. now don't don't favor your stick. Give it a good whack, okay? So the speed is going down, 83. It was 85 last time. You yeah, this. yeah. So that directly correlates with what we're th what we're looking at right now. Speed is everything on the ice. Um, it doesn't matter how big, how strong you are. It's all about the speed, how quickly you can whip that stick. And this was the hundred. Tell us, what did you feel different on that compared to your stick? And I'll put your stick in your hand. Uh, was it when you hit it or the feel yeah, on it? it's stiffer and that one's longer than mine, so it's heavier. A little bit heavier? Yeah. Okay. So why do you prefer the 75? Because I can shoot the same with less effort. So I get a quicker release. Quicker release. I think that's the key, right? You yeah. can get rid of that puck faster. 
and give it a little bit more speed on there. Well, not a little bit, it's a lot now, of speed. Now we have the science behind it. Is it kind of cool for you to see the speed go down as you, yeah. the higher the flex? All right, so doctor, we were talking about Dylan Bluegis and how that shot going at a certain speed kind of shattered his finger. Absolutely, so Reed's gonna go ahead and as you showed already, he's hitting 92 miles an hour. That shot that Dylan took was probably about 12 feet off. It began its acceleration. It also was a one-timer, so there may have been a little more impact on that. But as that as that puck accelerates, how many times are guys dropping down or throwing their bodies in front of that? Have you have you taken have you taken a couple of hits on yourself with the uh, so impacts on there? But that being said, the bone that took that impact, it's modulus of strength, it's that uh, elasticity on that bone is much smaller than that on what's on the ice. So if 92 miles an hour hits that ice, let's see what happens. <laughs> Take a look at here. Looks like you've caught this right in the, uh, the bottom left corner on it. But uh, that thing cracked right in half. And that was about 92 miles an hour. Let's just call it an even 90 miles an hour. And so it's in fact cracked that, that uh, block of ice. And that block of ice is every bit of about four to five inches thick. Sorry, Dylan. That's not how strong your bone on your hand was. <laughs> but you took that impact. If that's what it does to ice, imagine what it can do to any bone in a uh, in another hockey player's body. All right, so that was fun, but Dr. Kendra, I just want to wrap it up. What did we learn with Reed Boucher? Great. So, Reed, uh, when you were younger, you used a wooden stick, right? Yeah. Not that old, but <laughs> they, they had. But now we have composites, right? Graphite, they're lighter, they're faster. You like a little more give, it gives you a little harder whip, lighter to get around, right? As you saw, your shot is much more powerful with the stick that you're used to hitting. But these heavier sticks and uh, ones that don't give as much, although they may be a little stronger, they're still, in terms of its strength, they're not giving you as much power because it's a velocity that's more important than any, any power behind that, right? Well, there you have it. That is the science behind the sport. <laughs>